up guys, it's Kristen from Anime Collective. I'm ending out the year with one of my most anticipated new manga releases of 2023, Oshinoko. Yen Press were kind enough to send over a copy so I could showcase it on the channel for you guys. If you're looking to pick this one up, it's releasing on January 17th, 2023. Oshinoko is also getting an anime adaptation in 2023 on High Dive that you'll want to keep an eye out for as well. The first episode is going to be 90 minutes long and I can't wait for its release. So Oshinoko is created by the dynamic duo of Aka Akasaka, the creator of Kaguya-sama Love is War, and Mingo Yogiyari, the creator of Scum's Wish. As a fan of their two individual works, I was excited to see what they would create together with Aka Akasaka's storytelling and Mingo Yogiyari's illustrations. I had a feeling that what they'd create together would be amazing, but they far exceeded my expectations with Oshinoko. The series first began releasing with English translation digitally on Manga Plus, so you may have already checked it out. I couldn't wait to read it, so I kept up with the chapters on Manga Plus as well. Knowing what's coming and the twists and turns this one contains and just how hooked I was from the jump, I couldn't wait to own it in the collection and read it again physically. The first volume's cover features I, along with a signature she would use to sign for her fans. We have the Oshinoko logo on front, and I forgot to mention also that the cover is glossy. They went with their standard format size here, the same size as Yen Press's other releases like Bungo Stray Dogs. The spine also features the Oshinoko logo and character artwork at the top. The design is great and I love that they included star details on the volume 2 because they have a lot of symbolism. Not only are the characters in the series stars who are working to shine bright, but they are also a primary feature of the character design of the Hoshino family. We have a few color pages in the front too, which is really nice, and then you have the printing of the black and white pages, which is crisp too. Story-wise, Oshinoko gives us a unique look into the world of showbiz and offers a new perspective about what it means to be famous or to be an idol. It follows Goro, an OBGYN in the countryside that lives a life far removed from stardom, who meets his favorite idol Ai Hoshino one day in unexpected circumstances. Ai, who just began her climb to fame, is pregnant and in order to stay out of the eyes of the press, came to his clinic to have her babies. One thing leads to another, though, and their fates end up becoming intertwined in interesting as well as shocking ways. Goro is killed and reincarnated as her baby son. It's quite a quirky as well as out there premise, but it works so incredibly well. Oshinoko highlights the darkness that comes with being in showbiz, whether it be an actor or an idol. Ai's twins grow up and follow in her footsteps, so we also see through them the joys and struggles that come with being in the spotlight. There's a warmth to this series thanks to the characters' interactions as well as its great comedic timing throughout, but it's also quite a heavy read too, given that what these characters go through and various traumas they face as well. To me, what Oshinoko really explores is the fact that your passion must overcome the obstacles that stand in front of you, whether that be a stalking fan, internet trolls, the media spinning negative and false stories about you, losing the part you wanted most, or not being accepted into the world you are trying to break into. It also goes over at some point what it feels like to be forgotten, to lose the career that you have worked so hard for and also endured so much for. Story-wise, Oshinoko is incredible and it develops in unexpected ways as expected for Aka Akasaka. He has a knack for creating extremely well-rounded stories that are immersive but are full of drama and comedy too. They have an incredible balance of moments that will make you laugh but moments that will touch you also and this is present in Oshinoko. The artwork is beautiful, especially the character designs and settings, including the sets that these characters commonly work on. It's the characters' expressions, though, how Mingo Yakiyari was so perfectly able to capture their innermost emotions, even those that the characters are trying to hide from the world, that really impressed me the most. There's a lot you can derive, especially from the characters' eyes in this one. They say the eyes are the window to the soul, and in Oshinoko, this is truly the case. We often put a forced smile on her face, but the eyes reveal it all, especially when it comes to the Hoshino family. Oshinoko also has an amazing cast of characters, which you'll meet over the course of the chapters. You have Ai, who is endearing and relatable, Ai's two twins, Aqua, who is calm, cool, and collected, but is also kind and generous, and Ruby, who is humorous and mischievous, but also hardworking. And then we have Kana, who is also humorous and has an extremely likable personality. There are a lot more characters that make this series enjoyable, and there are so many amazing personalities in this one. New characters pop up over the course of the series. They are all dealing with their own demons, but it's their dynamic that makes this one hit all the right notes. 
There's mystery, comedy, drama, and it mixes serious and lighthearted moments together well. Most importantly, it brings us into the world of those in the entertainment industry and puts us in the shoes of these characters, while at the same time keeping you on the edge of your seat and guessing with a number of plot twists. I couldn't recommend Oshinoko more, and it's one that is on my must-read list of 2023. By the way, I have a video of all of the new manga you need to be reading in 2023 coming next, so stay tuned for that video. Oshinoko will definitely be on the list along with more incredible new manga releases. And there you have it, guys. That's it for the video. Thanks so much as always for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful and happy holidays, and I'll see you all next time.